penny for the faults of Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn. Um, Anthony Joshua is the type of boxer who likes to keep himself to himself, but it would have been nice for him to break character yesterday, maybe say something about that Tyson Fury performance, almost kind of like what Tyson Fury has done to him. You guys probably remember the Instagram post Tyson Fury put out when Anthony Joshua beat Joseph Parker. And it would have been nice to hear Eddie Hearn. It would have been nice to hear what Eddie Hearn had to say about the whole show. But that just doesn't happen nowadays. Um, it's almost as though um, Matchroom fighters have signed contracts to not talk about anything that BT Sports does. Like, don't tweet about it. Don't say anything about it. Because I um, went on a number of Matchroom fighters' Twitter pages yesterday. And it's almost as though Tyson Fury didn't fight. It's almost as though Deontay Wilder wasn't over in Northern Ireland. It was almost as though Carl Frampton didn't exist. Um, very, very interesting. So, surely, um, Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua are going to be upset, right? Tyson Fury has stolen their limelight. Tyson Fury is fighting Deontay Wilder. They're going to be livid, right? Surely. Wrong. Absolutely not. In fact, I expect them to be completely the opposite. I mean, look, if you're Eddie Hearn, two months ago, you couldn't have got more stick. Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua two months ago were vilified. Um, it was almost a case of you were on one side, you're on the Eddie Hearn and Joshua side, or you're believing what Deontay Wilder and Shelley Finkel were saying. And at a stage, I think it was 50-50. I think towards the end, it almost became 80-20. Literally, people were like Wilder and Finkel 100% telling the truth, and Eddie Hearn and Joshua are wimps, cowards, pussies, all the other words I heard about them. So that was two months ago. Tyson Fury said, you know what, I'll fight him. He put his hand up and said, you know what, I'll fight Wilder. And that was it. Joshua got no more tweets. No more bad things were said about Joshua. Joshua could almost carry on and do his Povetkin fight. And Eddie Hearn could carry on and do his disown. He, had, he didn't have to answer any more questions about Deontay Wilder. Because Tyson Fury and Frank Warren came and took all that pressure off. Literally just everything. And all of a sudden... Joshua was no longer a coward. Joshua was, okay, I'm concentrating on Povetkin. Eddie Hearn was no longer the scum of the earth. It was, okay, I'm concentrating on DAZN. All of a sudden, because of the Tyson Fury factor and Wilder coming over to the UK and screaming and shouting and um, Tyson Fury fighting Wilder, it's almost made, and this is crazy, and this is why I think Eddie Hearn's probably sitting back laughing. It's almost made the winner of Wilder versus Fury even a more bigger fight versus Joshua now. Joshua Wilder was massive. But come on, Wilder knocks out Fury. Don't tell me the pay-per-view buys for Joshua versus Wilder. If it does happen, they haven't just gone up by two, three hundred thousand. Of course they have. I mean, everyone's going to be screaming. You thought you were screaming for Wilder Joshua in, in May or June. You're going to be screaming for it now. And say, say Fury goes over to Las Vegas absolutely puts a school in on Deontay Wilder. Look, do I think it's going to happen? No, but let's, I mean, I've seen strange things in boxing, so let's hypothetically say that happens. How big, I mean, I can't even think of a bigger word, but how gigantic, enormous is Fury versus Joshua? It's enormous. It's, it's, it's gigantic. It's, um, there's not a stadium in the world big enough. They have to probably go to, is it the Maricana in Brazil? That's the only one that could hold this. It could sell out Wembley two times over easily. Fury versus Joshua, if promoted by Eddie Hearn, can do two Wembleys. So Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn are sitting back right now, wherever they are, discussing this and probably thinking, Fury's done us a favour, yeah? Fury has done us a favour. Because before there was one option, Deontay Wilder. Now there's two. Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. And not only that, but come on, let's be honest, guys. This is boxing. If Fury versus Wilder fight in November, December, there's a date in April at Wembley. Are you telling me the winner of Wilder Fury is going to turn down the opportunity to fight Anthony Joshua at Wembley Stadium for, I'm just, this is a conservative guess now, a purse split of about 100 million? It's, it's going to be ridiculous. So, look, if you're Eddie and you're, you're Joshua, from a business point of view, pfft, absolutely nothing wrong with what's happened. I mean, from a personal point of view, they're still going to get some sticks. Some fans are going to still call him 
cowards and dodgers and all the other names they can think of. But from a business point of view, AJ's sitting there rubbing his hands together knowing that Wilder or Fury now make incredibly big fights. Incredibly. So as much as they both say we don't want to fight AJ, money talks in boxing. They will fight him. They will. 